Hey guys, welcome back to my art channel. So for today's video, I made an architectural sheet cover page containing the vicinity map, location map, table of contents, signatures of the officials, a site development plan, and the proposed two-story residence building. So these are the plans and outputs I made, as you can see. This is actually a building technology 2 plate that I made. And if you're curious on how I made this rendered perspective, then keep on watching. But before we go on with the process video, I want to show you all my architectural sheet plans. So this is my architectural cover page. This contains the perspective, the site development plan, the vicinity map, the location map. And these are the floor plans I made. Ground and second floor plan. This one is the roof plan I made. Then this is the elevations. I got really high for this plate and then these are the sections the cross section and the longitudinal section so yeah these are the plans I made and now I will be showing you how I made my perspective draw so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get on with the video so I first start with a clean sheet of paper and then these are my materials I use the Staedtler pencils an eraser a triangle ruler, a T-square, and an erasing shield, eraser shield, choo-choo, yeah, I use this, and yeah, this is the paper in close-up, as you can see, I already marked it with pencil, and I'm gonna use the T-square to draw the borders of the perspective, so, this is an important rule in perspectives, because this will serve as your frame, and as you can see, I drew two dots, will serve this will serve as the left and right vanishing points and yeah i will use this to draw my structure and for the vertical lines i just use the t square and the triangle ruler the triangle yeah and this is just a time lapse of me doing my whole process and later i will be teaching you some techniques on how to do a precise proportion or perspective but this is just me using the left and right vanishing points and doing the tancha isim technique where you guess the sizing and proportion and just see what's bagay and what's fitting. So these are the elevations I made. And I didn't take a video on this one but this is my output on that and I will be doing something like that on my laptop. And right now, I will be doing the tancha method on the size of the big windows by the stairs. So, yeah. That's the front elevation and that's the window of the stairs. And right now, I am drawing the window frame of where I think it's located and that is there. And right now, I am just doing a time lapse of the whole proportioning process and me doing tancha with everything yeah sad you can also plot points with the floor plan but that's too taxing and it's too tiring and i'm not that good i don't really understand it that much but right now i'm going to show you how to perfectly proportionize your windows and doors to make it look even and you use this mainly on windows like buildings or houses like these so basically you put an x on the rectangle and then you put a line in the middle and then you put another x on the smaller rectangle and then you put lines on both middles and that's how you evenly proportionize your four windows so yeah like that you can also use this on I think even numbers only because you're basically just gonna half and half and half everything with the X method. I don't know if it works on odd numbers though but yeah I only like using even numbers and right now I'm doing the door for our my roof deck which is a sliding door so it's also for you know even numbered 
glass panels so yeah i'm also doing the x method there and now i'm drawing some simple entourage like the cars in the car part the mini human some trees cars and the sidewalk thing and i will also be rendering this in a few seconds and i will also teach you on how i make the sky the clouds cirrus clouds and the reflection on the glass so just keep on watching right now i'm just re-outlining my border and frame using a 3b pencil and i will also be enhancing my line values with this 3b pencil or you can also use an HB pencil if it's too strong. The higher the number, the darker it gets if it's a B. And if it's an H, the higher the number, the lighter it gets. So right now I'm using a dark tone just to emphasize that this is my form and to determine what's nearer and what's farther. So yeah. I will also be highlighting some of my entourage and my plants maybe with an H pencil because it's not that important like the structure itself but I will also outline the car Lamborghini or that sports car at the right side the darkest because it's the nearest to me so yeah and at this point I am doing the details in the background and the plants and later I will be showing you how to make a sky. So keep on watching. Okay, so to make the sky, the first thing I do is I shade the background everything. I shade the background so that it will have a dark color and then I will make it lighter by using my kneaded eraser and then I like to blend it again with a blending stump to have a lighter base color and then I proceed with using my eraser and drawing I mean erasing some cirrus clouds and then what I'm doing now is I'm basically outlining the house because it got erased some portions and to make the reflections in the glass you need to shade everything like what i did in the sky and then you create dashes with an eraser and then just re-outline what you erased so that it will look normal and then there you have the reflection glass effect for those of you who are new to my channel my name is anthony de gala i am a second year architecture student in university of sans Damas in the philippines and I make rendering and art videos about what I make in my school, my plates. And I also do some Shopee hauls, some art material reviews, and some random artworks that might help you. So be sure to subscribe and watch my binge watch playlist, which I will link in the description box below. So right now I am basically filling out the empty spots on my drawing like the road and the people. You need to shade your people because I don't think it will be seen around my background. So yeah, I made them with black pants and black shirt. And right now I'm using the eraser shield and I am erasing the dirty parts of my paper. So the eraser shield is very important actually because it helps you in keeping what you draw, what you drew intact and then getting what you erased. So as you can see, I'm blocking the drawing and then erasing what's around it. So yeah, but you also need to re-outline the frame or the outline of the drawing just in case it got erased. So yeah, this is the final artwork. Or render on my proposed two-story residence building and yeah right now I'm going to do the other drawings which includes a table of contents the site development plan vicinity map and the location plan so this is my site development plan BAM 
Yes, amaze, amaze, amaze. This just took me a little while because it's a, uh, it's scaled very low. One is to two hundred meters, so yeah, that's gonna be quick. And this is my location map. And this has a twenty kilometer radius, and it includes the basic large scale of the location of your site where you're building your residence. And this one is the vicinity map. This includes the streets and the landmarks where the site is near. And as you can see, I forgot to put the street label. So yeah, I'm wrong with that. And yeah, this is my final output. And these are the materials I used again. I used the Stadler pencil, the eraser, the kneading eraser, an eraser, the triangle scales, erasing shield, blending stump, mechanical eraser, and more triangles. And this... 24 inch T square. And that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you watch till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next one.